Well, welcome back All for right. the second half of the 1998 GDFL second semi final between Werribee Centrals and Bannockburn at half time. It's the Centurions by two points. 6 8 44. They lead Bannockburn 5 12 42 in a great game of football at the moment. And uh, Frank, are you down there? Have you got the microphone? Can you hear us? Have you got your headset on? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, unfortunately. Right. Now, you can give us some stats at halftime about some of the players we're watching for both sides this afternoon. All right, for Werribee, uh, Skinner, who had he's got seven and three, total of ten possessions. Luke Luddick, he had a big quarter, four kicks, three marks and two handballs that quarter. Um, Simon Colbert, he had a, who I liked the lad, who's had uh, five kicks, five, head, uh, five marks that quarter. Uh, uh, Big Stewart for Werribee, three kicks and one handball for Bankburn. Uh, Shaw had three kicks and one handball that quarter. Uh, Troy College had a real big quarter, he had seven kicks, two handballs. And Shane Andrews had a big quarter with five kicks and one goal. Thank you. Thanks for that, Frankie. Start of the, the third term, the vital third term, as Ron Brain always says. In his second semi-final, Stewart gets it down. Andrews is still in the ruck. Quick kick out of the middle by Werribee Centrals towards centre-half forward. Rose worked under the ball. Got it away quickly, though. OK to Perkins. And Perkins at centre-half back now to push the Tigers back towards the middle. Andrews behind on this occasion, running through Kochevatkin. Quick hands. Great work. Misara gets it out to Skinner. Does it sit for him? Yes, it does. He takes a bounce. He'll go on the right foot and show his skills on that. It goes towards the back pocket. And taking the mark is... Uh, Jake Hewitt in the last line defence for the Tigers. Switches play, puts Perkins under pressure. He's going to have Morley against him as well. Justin Morley, can he break the tackle? Yes, he can. He's got some support. There's two on one out here. Rose does extremely well. Handball back towards Morley. Connors is right next to him. Handball back to Jack. Breaks one tackle, then gets back on the right. Measures the pass towards Jewel. It's over his head. He and College are going at it now. Oh, Nappies makes up a bit of ground. And can he break free? No, he can't. Handball quickly back towards Jewel. Oh, Connors gets a push in the back and will take a free kick. Yeah, Chops with a bit of experience there. He's got the body in front and uh, stopped. Popped the free kick. Rough Robbie. A rough house of Robbie Henderson on the arena. Hello. So his first taste of second semi-final football. A long bomb, oh. a lovely kick. Hello. The leading Delahunt comes out and takes a good grab at centre-half forward. Wastes no time. Looks to the corridor. And the drainer was 20 metres away from his opponent on that occasion in Adam Kochevakin. And I think the runner will go straight out to him and uh, just remind him. No, I think uh, actually Andrews is playing in the ruck, so it's Sean Stewart with his opponent, I would think. OK, well, this could be working. and that's, that's correct. That was a good call of yours because uh, the move has been made with Andrews on the ball. He's drifted down to the forward line and a real opportunity here. He's kicked two goals through this afternoon, Shane Andrews. So Andrews now. 30 metres out, directly in front. Oh, he's got it. He's got it for his third. And a good start for the Tigers. They take the lead. Once again, 6-12-48. They lead Werribee Central 6-8-44. And that's on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. Yes, the one-stop shop that's got the lot. That's the Apco Easy Way. North Geelong, South Geelong, East Geelong. Lara, Juan Ponza, and of course, Sunny Bowen Heads. Sea change. It would be pretty it would be pretty sunny down there today. Sea change. Well done, Brett. You do watch a bit of TV after you go to the Lyric. Good to hear. Back in the middle, umpire Andrew has the footy in hand. Andrew's up against Stewart again. Comes down towards Stewart. Tries to do his own roving work. Umpire Andrew will come in and have a secondary bounce. Shut up, Brett. <laughs> now, <laughs> ball up once again in the middle. Clouding over a little bit here. Not as... Uh, Bright as it was in the first term. Short with a big thump. Wentworth thumps it uh, back towards Perkins, who does well. Gets a torpedo punt towards centre-half forward. Coming out, kick Hart. Goes towards Andrews. Andrews now on the left. Was going to try a short little kick to Pilgrim. It didn't get there. Henderson comes through. Andrews as well. And it's in the just in the uh, centre, centre square at centre-half forward for Bannockburn. They're attacking the northern end in this third term. Just one step too many, Andrews, then, didn't he? Yeah. Great smother. Andrews really got a left hand working there, but he's hit it straight in the throat there of Kojavakin, who goes out wide to Morley, held off the ball. A pack of players have formed up by Gladick, he said. Uh, has got no idea. Uh, has got absolutely no idea well, what's going on the ball, out there. Didn't he? he was over the ball. He has got no idea what's going on. He's letting the other two down, I reckon. Okay. What's he doing? 
reckon that was a fair decision, boys. Oh, I think he's uh, he seen the umpire yeah. there. Uh, he was over the ball. He had the opportunity to either hit it out or have a go at it, and he decided to uh, hang over it. And uh, rightful decision. Sorry, oh, boys. Stewie, you've got no idea either sometimes. <laughs> they give the votes, boys. Yeah, that's bloody... Yeah, exactly right. 18 votes from the league vote count. Wins the tap out. It's tapped <laughs> off by Collager, but now quick hands put a march. Finally gets a boot to ball. Goes right across to the outer side, centering position. The foot race is on. You've got Mick Kennedy. And just ahead of oh, Flanagan, great desperate football, lunged at the Kennedy's boot as he was about to kick and has smothered it out of bounds, out of sight, centre wing here at St Albans, where we see four points of margin, Danny from front in this third and vital quarter. Bantry throw in, middle of the pack. If Brett can get the camera on it, we'll find out who it is. Oh, you've got no idea, Brett, have you? And it's a ball up on centre wing <laughs> on the outer side. <laughs> I think boys, Bar Henderson coming on. There hasn't been any real positional changes. Uh, they're pretty well much they were at uh, the second quarter. Okay, thanks, Stewie. Stewie got it uh, wide there for Werribee, but it is too wide. It's going to be a boundary throw in on centre wing on the outer side. It's six eight playing six twelve. It's the Tigers with a four point lead. Thrown in, Stewart Andrews now double hander down to the front. Comes out the back, Jewel. Has got it, handball quickly, back towards the pack. And they've got the numbers here if it can get to Kelbert. It does now. Hands to Simon Kelbert. He's at 65 out. Tries to measure the pass. Luddix there, can't take the mark. And over the top, Corrigan. And it will be a ball up. Just a bit of an inkling, boys. I think Andrews is just getting on top of Stewart in those rucking contests. Uh, it'll be interesting to see actually how they go around the ground as um, Stewart took several marks in that first half. But I think at the ruck contest, I think Andrews might be on top. And a free kick picked out by umpire Armstrong. Going to go to Connors against Morley. So Connors now goes towards the middle. Here he is again. Andrews, the drainer, goes up, takes an uncontested mark at centre-half back. Warner moved on quickly. Henderson gives him a lead at centre-half forward. He goes in that direction now. Pilgrim's there also. And uh, Hallam, oh, good mark, Roland Beck. And takes the mark quickly. Gets it around the corner towards Skinner. Takes it in front of Tom. He wanted to handball over the top. He elects to go. Kick now towards half forward. Jack can't pick it up. Rose went for the, uh, the kick off the ground and then a throw, says the umpire. And Rose says, I tapped it, didn't throw it, but uh, it's going to be a free kick to Shane Jack at half forward. I think he was waving to Mick Foster in the bench there, actually. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> now, Wait it's going to be a kick, Jack. Long. Oh, it went worth. Eyeball again takes the mark. The chicken hawk clears, goes wide, Harding, and Jewel, foot race. Jewel's going to lead, but uh, it's out of bounds. Kennedy on foot. Sorry, Stewie. Yeah, that That's was... right, Jason. Who's off? I didn't see who was. Who's off? Kennedy off, is he? Yeah, Kennedy uh, is off, and uh, Michael Kennedy is... So it's a Kennedy on for a Kennedy off. There. <laughs> Kennedy on. for Kennedy. David for Michael. <laughs> That'll do. Right, eight. Dave for Mick. <laughs> Handball back to Kelbert at 50. Off one step, goes looking for Cunningham. Oh, oh Richie, baby! <laughs> it's caught on now. <laughs> Richie. Yeah, it's taking the half-time break to catch on. <laughs> we'll wait for you, Ronnie. <laughs> well, yeah. a real icon is this boy. As Richie was, and still is. Cunningham has kicked one goal, two. Comes in, lays back. Mm. One behind. Doesn't seem to kick through the ball, does he really? He just sort of gets to his distance. If he's 30 metres yeah. out, he tries to kick 35. If he's 40 out, he tries to kick 45. I think he's better off treating every kick as it's 45, 50 metres out, kick through the ball and put it in the tennis courts. <laughs> ball back into play now. Looking there for the chicken hawk, but oh, uh, Dave Kennedy comes in. He pass over the top there to Morley. Was good play. Morley squares the ball. Good fist away, Corrigan. Loose ball now in the left forward pocket for the Centurions. Pack of players of form and the umpire, Jason Armstrong, will bounce down about 30 metres now from the Werribee Central goal. We've been playing about eight and a half minutes into this third and vital quarter. Good tap down to Perkins, who's been busy in this quarter. His kick on this occasion, not a good one. And Simon Kelbert takes another possession. Goes to the corridor, Peter Mark, who's been good also for the Centurions. A real link man. Kicks the ball high. Not a good uh, fist away, Rose, because he's put it straight down the throat there of Skinner, who shoots at goal. It's off hands of the pack and rushed through for a minor score. <clears throat> 2.30 to 
two points the margin. Ball now brought to the member's side of the ground. Rose, oh, back of the pack there, trying to take the mark with Shane Jack. He couldn't do so, but his second effort, good. Got up to Skinner, who's been terrific. Hand pass there, Mastara went one way. Then he gets onto his right foot. He shoots a goal Go. from about 40 Go. metres. Uh, and I tell you what, he's popped it through. Great goal. That's his second. Centurion's back in front. Six or eight there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, 7 10 52. Werribee Central's 5, sorry, 6 12 48. Bannockburn, Abco Eji Shops, third and vital quarter of footy here at uh, St Albans for the Geelong District Football League second semi final. Umpire Kim Andrew now to get play back underway. We've got Shane Andrews doing battle with Sean Stewart. Stewart this time gets it down. Collager thumps it back there looking for Henderson to centre half forward, a little tap forward. Harding overruns the ball. Roland Beck could have been pinged for holding it, but he finally squeezes it out. Now, Winter over the top. He goes to Collager. He runs through centre half forward. Pushed as he kicked. Has it been pushed enough? I think he might have been pushed just enough. Hit the post. Great effort there from Troy Collager. Interesting movie on the bench. Tom coming off for the taller more, so it'll be interesting to see whether Andrew slips back into the forward line or not. Lyons kicks in. Comes to the uh, members' side, looking for Skinner and good mark under pressure from Harding at halfback. Takes it. 6-13-49, Bannockburn, Werribee Central, 7-10-52, three points in it. Now, kick from halfback by Skinner towards the big man on the ground and takes the mark overhead, Peter Moore. And goes, they've called Drainer. So he goes in that direction towards the Drainer. Punched away by Hart. Good punch away to Kelbert. Picks it up. Coming at him, Gad. Handball over the top to the big man, Stewart. Oh, gets around Winter. Just goes towards Kelbert. Handball back to Stewart. Handball back to Kelbert. They're pushing it wide. Andrews tackles him. He gets his kick away. Wentworth can chop it off. Gets a hand to it and sees it over the boundary line on centre wing. Oh, I think Storm is lucky that he got around it. Mm, I'll say he was too. A bit careful there, the Storm. But it's out of bounds now. On the other side, centre wing. It's three points of difference. And we've been playing... Uh, 14 minutes. 14 guys. minutes. Ball on the other side of the ground. Boundary throw in. Became a bit of a non event there. Back out of bounds at Kinnerin. This time Moore up against Stewart. <laughs> Stewart again. Morley. Well trapped. Hand pass there from Moss. Couldn't clear the ball. Again, another pack of players have formed in the umpire. Has pinged the Bannockburn player in Chops Connors. This time for holding. Oh. Kennedy, shocking kick, dropped short. Rose being held without the football. Oh. Good work, Flanagan. Swoops on the leather and brings it to the member's side of the ground looking for Collager. Ball sits well for him. Went one way, then the other. On the left foot now. Puts it right in front of Hardy and Beck do chase. Beck first to the footy. Great tackle there from Roweth. Harding, cop one a little bit high. Oh, and the umpire allowed it to continue. Interesting decision there. Kim Andrew is going to bounce the ball at centre wing, member's side, right in front of the guest video That's comedy cool position. Stewart used his body well. Lincoln East just coming out of the ground. Got a touch of the leather. Ball now. Matty pulls it. Yeah, Matty's obviously uh, come off the ground. I don't know if they're just trying to uh, throw a few of the players around. Just trying to work about a little bit there with... Um, Obviously, with Tom coming off, College has gone on the wing with Skinner, so whether that's had something to do with Skinner's few touches early in this quarter, Moore's gone on the ruck, and Andrews has gone to centre-half forward. Back develops again on centre wing. Umpire Andrew will come in and bounce it for a third time. It's 52 playing 49. Werribee Central's with a three-point lead. Peter Moore, the big man, gets up last. we do the ruck work against Stewart. <coughs> Umpire Andrew throws it up. Stewart. Now Moore, but oh, good... Hand to Flanagan, left foot kick, oh, wobbly man. towards the boundary line, Dallahand. Oh, oh straight into the uh, coach's box. And he's going to have to be a little bit careful there. Is he OK? Yeah, he gets up a little bit wobbly. He's all right. He's got it. Very good mark under a lot of pressure. Now, yeah. well, what's, what's going on? The ball was deemed out of bounds the foot. Ruby Central's will get the penalty free kick and Scotty Lyons will take possession. Half back flank, member side of the ground. 
Just kicks a high ball down to centre wing. Moore, Flanagan, oh, Calvert comes across the face of the pack. Nearly took a great mark. Now, slipping at the crucial time was Perkins. Put Henderson under a bit of pressure. Moore comes in and taps the ball to the centre of the ground. Oh, it goes to Ronnie Pilgrim, who chaps it up there looking for Andrews. Oh, oh he's dropped that absolute sitter. But his recovery was good. Oh. The hand pass, not so good. Dave Kennedy traps it. He was all wrapped up. Now, the ball, a little bit hot at the moment, I'd suggest, gentlemen. Lyons takes possession, goes short to Jewell in the centre-half back position. Left foot kick out wide. Now, here's the race. Peter Mark got an opportunity if the ball will stay in, but it won't. Beats him over the line and out of bounds. Out of side, half-forward flank. And then Centurions did well to get out of that, but gee whiz, Shane Andrews, how could you drop a chest mark like that? It was a good kick by Pilgrim, too, out in front. But uh, couldn't take the grab. Good tap by Stewart to Morley. Morley goes towards Cunningham. Oh, Richie again. <laughs> Jeez, he's not bad in the pack. And takes a great grab. Too big, too strong as Joffa boy. He's huge. Richie. And we see Hawks coming back on. Jewel off. So both teams just switching their players around a bit. In this vital third term, it's 52 playing 49. Mick Cunningham's kicked uh, one goal three this afternoon. Now, let's, let's see if he's uh, adhered to Stewie Scott about kicking. I think that's a bit better, isn't it, Stewie? Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. I see Robert. College is having a bit of a rest in the uh, forward line for Bang. I'm just trying to pick up who's gone in, which we'll find out pretty quickly here in the middle, but it might be East. Might have gone into the middle. Matty Pilgrim off the ground. Lincoln East on. Werribee we'll Central is now... 8-10-58, they lead Batty Burn 6-13-49 on the Upco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. It's now nine points of difference. On the wing. No, I think the coach has gone into uh, the centre bounce. Or well, maybe and Ronnie's gone in there too, so and Harding. So they're throwing, throwing a little bit around there at the centre bounces. And it's going to be more against Stewart. Pike Leakey throws the ball up. Stewart gets it down. Pilgrim can't take it with him. Through East, Pilgrim, Henderson. The umpire says it's a free. And... Where it's against Henderson. It's going to Hawks. In the middle for Werribee. Drive it towards half forward. Goes there now. Kelbert's there. Jack's there. Gad. Punch away Rose. Rove beautifully. Luddick at the front of the pack. Shepherded. Gets a kick around the corner. Cunningham. Can't quite grab it. Winter. Tried to tap it back to the advantage of Hewitt. Got a free kick for a high tackle as well. Good. The coach at centre half back. Not well. He'll be okay. He got the free kick. Winter hands off to Perkins goes uh, long towards East but in front Skinner he was going to handball it then he was going to go with the left boot he does now back to whence it came Jack Rose punched away good Wentworth up against Musara Wentworth taps it towards the, the boundary line he's not going to make it though Musara's there got some support can't pick it up for a kick over the shoulder Robert Musara at uh, half forward The lead's on. Bladdock, Corrigan, oh, oh, runs into Rose. His teammate he's a bit, uh, gets up a bit gingerly. Handball, Kelbert puts his teammate under pressure. That's Morley. He breaks a tackle, gets a left foot kick around the corner. In the way, though, is Ashley Perkins. And he takes the mark in the last line of defence of the Tigers. It yeah, really dazed Richie Corrigan. Still not real good there. Right at the 10-metre square. The runner is having a chat to him. Uh, I won't repeat what he said. <laughs> But uh, ball now oh, over the back there, Stewart, and reclaimed the mark. Ball hits the deck, and uh, Flanagan, who's just died out of it a little in this quarter. There's been a whistle on play, though, and I think you'll find that uh, picking himself up uh, also a little gingerly, Peter Moore, but Flanagan will get the free kick. Corey Flanagan now, the dasher. One of the high bright lights of the Bannock Burn side this afternoon goes to Roughhouse, Robbie Henderson. Oh. Ball spills now and Harding. Oh, he swoops on the leather. Has a bounce then. Oh, the kick is an absolute shocker. But it's trapped by Colliger to Lincoln East from 35 metres. The left foot shot at goal is sprayed to the left side of the big stick and one point off the boot of Lincoln East. And that would have been a very handy goal at this point in time because time ticking along 19 and a half minutes of this third and vital quarter Centurions by eight points kick in by Lyons outside 50 coming at it Kennedy tries to tap it back to the advantage of his teammates Number
numbers with Bankberg. Quick hands towards Henderson from Winter at 50. Rough Robbie. Can he put it through for a goal? Roweth can Shepherd, and he has. Oh, oh rough house, oh, Robbie. The defender come good. What a great goal from 55. Great football from the Bannockburn coach who set that passage of play with some constructive handball. And Robbie Henderson has set it up and finished it off with a lovely goal. 7-14-56 Bannockburn, 8-10-58 Werribee Centrals. And margin back to two points. Up Coesie Shops, third and vital quarter of footy. The one-stop shop that's got the lot, mate. That's the Apco Easy Shops. Uh, the sponsorship continues, too. Back in the middle. Absolutely shocking throw by umpire Gladke. And he's going to bring it back and do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joey. Great. <laughs> he's not listening, Dave. Yeah, no, he's not. He only listens when he wants to. Stuart. Sorry, boys. And more, don't worry. Stuart gets it down. Ronnie Pilgrim off one step. Kick puts an half foot back. Plays tall. Takes the mark. We're sort of in the air. <laughs> Had a good game. Uh, quarter foot. Uh, the footy is on Roland Beck. Busy on Connor. Goes out wide. Let the lead of Calvert. Good work there. Landon taps it forward. But Calvert's second. Big. Henson comes in. And look at his bob. Picks the ball out. Over the big O. Connors. Is an opportunity for the backburn side. If you finish off with the left foot. Uh, I've been looking for oh, oh Roweth. Rush got it. He worked great. Skip Darren Roweth. Keep footing under pressure and hang off. Sonic Burn. Reclaim the lead. Now 14 62. The lead where it be central 10 58. And the Apco is his third quarter scoreboard. It's four points in it. And once again, one of those typical Roweth goals for his first afternoon. For the baller, that was the success because it's been bodied uh, by Scotty Lyons, who is stronger. Um, and him, oh, and it's on a little bit of uh, muscle behind play. Oh. There, ball now, kick forward again. Benny Burn doing well. Paul Hart there, a little bit of a soft shoe shuffle, kicks it off the carpet. Flanagan desperate. Lunges at the ball, punches at 20 metres towards his goal. Out of bounds. And in, in fact, it was, I'd suggest, the 58 Guernsey. Andrew Scott has got the arduous task on Darren Roweth. Good work, Stuart. Yeah. yeah, good work. But again, it's shark point. That was Andrews who kicks up to half forward. It's over the head of Stormy Winter. Paul Hart again does well for the uh, Centurions and uh, clears the ball boundary line. It's about 80 metres now from Bannockburn goal out of sight of St Albans Reserve. Stuart Moore. Moore in front. Henderson over the back. Falls towards the front of the pack. Kochevatkin and Winter. Winter, can he keep it in? He played for the free kick. He kept it in anyway and then he tried to tap it on towards uh, Connors. Winter still in there fighting. Morley keeps the footy in even though he goes out. Then he runs out of room. Keeps the footy in. And now it's out. Beck cannot keep it in. And it will be a boundary throw at half forward for the Tigers. They lead 62 to 58 in this third term. And we've been playing 21 and a half minutes. Here at St. Ormans Reserve in the 1998 second semi-final. More big thump away. Good. About, gains about 30 metres. Goes towards the boundary. Harding can't keep it in. And it will be another throw in inside 50 on this occasion. Yeah, Peter Moore doing well for Banny Burn there. Caught, caught his midfielders. They're a little bit out of position on that occasion with that massive thump to the uh, boundary line. This time Stewart does well, but Henderson anticipated well the hand pass, so an ill-directed one. Connors goes back in after it. But oh, again, Roland Beck, uh, good in defence, kicks out quickly. Henderson tries to keep it in play. But again, the boundary line has beaten the players. We'll have another throw on that outer side of the ground. <laughs> Moore and Stewart again to do battle. Stewart on this occasion wins. Andrews back on the ball again for Bannockburn. Beats the tackler. Lovely long kick up looking for that looked like uh, Colliger. And heart clashed. The loose ball spills through. You put down your glasses there. <laughs> Pilgrim, he doesn't miss them. And uh, the legend uh, veteran uh, on the left foot shoots from 30 metres and has popped through a very handy goal. The skipper. 
Liddy by example, 9-14-68, Bannockburn, Werribee Central's 8-10-58. And obviously that reshuffle has worked for Bannockburn. It was just all set up for him there, wasn't it? <laughs> just uh, the push out and uh, East in support, just a shepherd for him. Gave him enough time to uh, turn around and kick the goal. His first this afternoon, back in the middle, Moore up against Stewart. Moore gets it down. Andrews back in the middle, as Ronnie said. Hawks over the top. And Umpire will come in and bounce it once again. And we see Hart coming off. <coughs> Moore and Stewart to do it once again in the middle. Goes up, Stewart. Tries to bustle his way through Andrews. Kick smothered. Flanagan taps it on. Harding, does it sit for him? Yes, it does. And he can get his kick away, but it's smothered. Ronnie Pilgrim off the ground through the hands of Lyons. But good recovery by Lyons. And handball towards Hallam. Oh, handball under pressure. Henderson's got it. Handball back to Flanagan. Standing start. Oh, quick kick towards uh, Ronnie Pilgrim at half forward. Breaks a tackle. Gets a kick around the corner. But Musara chops it off. And it's got Kelber to kick too, so he has to now. That's the only one. Gad, and he's got Collager in front. Good punch away, Gad. Disciplined play. Nappy's in support. East Shepherds, beautifully for him. Troy Collager, usually good in these situations. Kick this time, though. Smothered. Kelbert on the rebound. Wrapped up by Gad. Loses the footy. Through the middle again, Nappies. He gets his kick partly smothered. Back to the drainer. He loses it behind the back. And great play by Werby to get away from this and break away at half for a half back wing as Jewel goes towards Laddie. Corrigan, disciplined play to punch it away. Jack. Keeps in front, and Rose, and it's now out of bounds at half forward. Yeah, the defence of uh, the Centurions can hold their head high there because they were under the pump. Some great smothering. Three, in fact, off the boot of Troy Collager. Brings the ball now back to half forward. Centurions into attack. Oh, Andrews over the top. High fly. Got it to Rose. Was good play. Now the ball's charged by Hardy. Sees Lincoln East running down the centre wing, but oh, his left foot kick is an absolute shocker. Bounces just inside the line at half forward. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Margin 10 points. Benny Burn enjoying that lead. Time check shows 27 minutes gone of this third vital premiership quarter of the second semi final for GDFL on 94.9 Guest FM. Andrews tries to tap it over the back of the advantage of Rick Harding. He's outside now. Poor kick off the boot, though. Kicked it wide. And it's out of bounds on the full for a free kick. Lions to take it in the last line defence for the Centurions. Now. Yeah. Scotty Lyons goes the other side. Collager in front. Good mark. On 50, takes it, plays on quickly. Quick kick, but chopped off this time. Beck. Yeah, well, right there, uh, Ralph's running the back of the pack all on his own, and no one was with him. And uh, it's a bit hard to pick up where his man actually is. I'm just trying to uh, pick up where Jules actually gone for Hart that came off. So I thought Hart was doing quite well with Ronnie Pilgrim, but with Ronnie going onto the ball, they may have had a mismatch in the back line. Yeah, interesting, uh, that one of Hart. Not sure why, but there's obviously a reason I'd suggest. But he has had a bit of the ball, Paul Hart, having a spell. We'll see if we can work that one out, Stewie. But uh, ball's at the right half forward about... Uh, oh, in between. Yeah, right on true half forward flank. And Bannock Burnie to attack. Packer plays around the footy. That was uh, Collager uh, pulled off the ball, but a uh, quick kick there by him. Up to the pocket. Again, a pack of players fly a form. It's a bit untidy at the minute. A Viking Andrew will come in and bounce down. Inside 50. Bunny Burnie to attack. Very pleased with this uh, third quarter effort. They had their kicking boots on, adding four goals too so far for the turn. And kept uh, Werribee down to two goals too. Blood rule, I think. Yeah, it looks like Skinner coming off. Stormy winners coming off too. Yeah, and... Michael Kennedy back on you. Stormy coming off for Tom. Sorry, Jason. You are right, mate? I just heard Frank say it. Great work, Frank. Got those eyes going beautifully this afternoon. No worries, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to wait for Kennedy and Tom to uh, take up their positions. It's uh, 9 14 to 8 10. It's 10 points of difference. Banning Burn in front. Umpire Andrew holds the ball off to call time on once again. And it's Stewart up against Henderson. Falls to Lyons. Quick hands to Morley. He's good enough to.
pick it up and get his kick away. Goes towards Moore and Perkins straight through. Quick hands back towards Moore. Little toe poke towards Wentworth and Connors. Connors over the top. Got one high, no free kick. Wentworth runs away. It's going to be a free now. Umpire Gleek, he's picked it up. And Kevin Connors with the free kick. In the middle, he's got Henderson short. Goes in that direction. Roughhouse Robbie at centre half forward. Can give it a colleger. And he does. Kennedy comes at him. He's got east wide, but uh, Roweth says kick it long. He's got Andrews back there as well. Stewart's dropping back now. He goes for the pass. Roweth comes out in front. No mark. Beck wrapped up. East is in there also. Comes to the back. Hallam handball quickly to Jewell. Sits for him okay. Gets away and gets his kick away. Good kick to Mark. The sit at the back punches away from Colleger. And it's out of bounds on half forward. Yeah, just at the end, I found that a little bit hard that uh, Nabby's had go for, say, a rowie when in the forward line as a passing option when you've got Andrews up there and also Delahunt, who both lead very well, and uh, Andrews' hands have been working fairly well. So it's three-quarter time in the second semi-final. It's batting Burr 9, 14-68. They lead Werribee Centrals 8-10-58 by 10 points in that quarter. Two goals, two to Werribee Centrals. Four goals, two to Bannockburn. And the goal kick is to three-quarter time for Bannockburn. Three to Shane Andrews and singles to Robbie Henderson, Steve Winter, Darren Roweth, Steve Dallahant, Ron Pilgrim and Troy Colliger. While for Werribee Centrals, two each to Shane Jack, Michael Cunningham and Robert Musara and singles to Simon Kelbert and Luke Luttick. fano has gone out to listen to Stephen Winter and what would be a pretty happy Bannockburn three-quarter time huddle. While Stewie Scott's uh, making his way out to the Werribee Central's huddle. He's not even moving. He's not even moving, Frank. Good to hear. <laughs> I'll see if I can get hold of Nick Foster again at the uh, end of his talk. Thanks very much, Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> You're unbelievable. So three-quarter time. It's ten points difference.